What's up, everybody? Poison Jason here. Let's play some Sentinels of the Multiverse. Last time, off yeah. Last time, Joey got really, really grumpy because Omnitron played the played like one copy of one of the cards in his deck that he hates. Two copies, and you started saying you hated it too. I have a recording of your voice saying that. Yeah, but you got significantly more butt hurt than I did. That's because I'm super. Anyway, we're playing with Omniscott. At the start of the game, Omniscott enters play a superhuman hunter side up. Cards are revealed from the top of the villain deck until H minus one device cards are revealed. Put into play, or, and put into play. The others are shuffled. Blah blah blah. So at the end of the villain turn, Omniscott deals the hero target with the highest HP H minus one projectile damage. Now. Abu is actually really easy if you play against multiple heroes, like four, four, four or five heroes. And I imagine if you were to somehow like break the rules and like play the tabletop game and play up against like seventeen, he'd be a complete joke. Uh, if you played, no, because H H is a pretty high number when you get to seventeen. Yeah, but then you get to 17, he hits one thing for 17 a few times. He keeps cycling through everyone, but everyone's just punching him in the face constantly. It's the worst dog pile. Also, Scott's nemesis is Haka. This means we get to play Haka. This means we get to do hilarious things with Savage Mana. Savage Mana is always fun. It turns him from a noble warrior into a kleptomaniac. Yep. Also, if you actually use Savage Mana to hit things, it turns him from Noble Warrior to Kleptomaniac to the Spirit world's bomber. greatest alchemist. Right. So let's see what we've got. Custom hand cannon, as yep. you do. Yep. Annoying card, as you do. Very. Oh, this is a new one. Explosive launcher. Deals each hero target three fire damage. Most cards in play. Let's have Tempest take it. Because everyone's taking this. Alright, so the reason why the Sonic Mine is annoying is because it only has one hit point, and when you destroy it, um, heroes can't take the, uh, deal damage. So. Oh! We can deal with it pretty easily, I think, but... Is it really worth burning a ground pound and, like, all of Haka's hand right now? Not yet. We're gonna tie a Hava this up, though. Yeah. We can throw his Sonic Mine into the Stratosphere. We could. Let's do that. That's always fun. Mostly because it's an excuse to use Into the Stratosphere, and Into the Stratosphere is great. I think ground pound is nice. Yeah, we're taking lots of damage. Yeah, I'm actually gonna say ground pound would be good because we're starting to take lots of damage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is a useless card anyway, and this is not the most useful card. Now we, now can, we can. No, you don't. Oh. I guess you have to hit two things. Right. Um, more just, use, just use the other hit on uh, 
I'm a scout. Yeah, good point. Hawker okay. Battle. Better known as the Alchemy Dance. It uh, lets him turn song and dance into a thermonuclear device. Do we want to do lightning slash now, or do we want to go ahead and get electrical storm out? Let's get electrical storm out, since we don't have a threat of the uh, sonic mine. Yeah. Especially since we're, like, going to aggressively brain storm on it. Right. But sonic mine's effect only happens when we take the damage, so ground pound is really good against it. All right. This. Perfect. So I can destroy this and get Raptorbot out. Raptorbot! Otherwise known as the best card in the game. It's gonna do a bunch of damage when we get more bots out. Also, he's adorable. Like, I would watch a silly kid's cartoon about a talking pink robot dinosaur. Isn't it a good thing that I ground pounded? Yep. You'd get in all kinds of wacky adventures. It'd be awesome. Ground pound prevented Umbuscot from doing damage. Because Umbuscot is a fire pounder. Right. I'm halfway tempted to say ramp wait, no, Rampage would be stupid. Rampage would destroy wait. Raptorbot. Do you want Raptorbot's blood on your hands? Don't, which is why I said Rampage would be stupid. Oh, hey, Mary. Hey. She's for me. What did we lose? Um, Trash. Nothing really significant. I mean, the, the modular workbench, workbench would be nice, but... Um, here we lost Genebound Shackles, which is... Okay, and for right. Haka, we lost um, Temoka, which is nice, but I think I'm just going to lighten this. Uh... I'm tempted to say get out the uh, elemental subwave inducer, because you don't really need to do any big bursts of damage right now. And uh, that'll set up for attack for <laughs> unity. Yep. Right. That's a good card. So let's go ahead and play this. That's nice. Ooh, some black ray. Bebot, less nice, but mm, could be better. I mean, getting Bebot out would keep Raptorbot alive because it has the lowest health. And it lets me destroy an environment card. And it increases Raptorbot's damage. I'm gonna do it. Yep. Turretbot! Yes! Turretbot's my favorite! My favorite bot! Raptorbot's your favorite, you know it. Okay, like, my second favorite. No, my second favorite is Platform Bot. He's my third favorite. You Mostly just like because... all of Unity's stuff. Yeah, yeah, but there, there's a definite hierarchy. It's Raptorbot, then Platform Bot, then Turretbot. It's hand Cannon again. And somebody's about to take a bunch of damage. And it's Haka! Look at Haka taking that punch to the face like a champ. And then he shoots the fish. And then he shoots a little girl because he's a horrible human being. Go ahead and play the Mary. I think I'll use it as fodder for uh, destruction. Mm. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. And I'm going to tie uh, the pterodactyl and the hand cannon. Because that Cause way... Because Tempest will... Tempest. Right. Tempest will do the remainder of their health. Dominion's nice. Would have been nicer a turn ago. Oh, well, it would have been nicer at the beginning. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play Lightning Slash now. 
because we're yeah. reaching the point where we can finish the fight. Yep. This has been this was went much better so far than the other one did. Oh yeah, this was anticlimactic as hell. We might have to do a rematch. Yeah, this was this was sad. He got to do like jack and crap. Destroy the array for turf pot. Oh hey, that'd be real nice if I had you know stuff. Yeah. So that's no three problem. damage. Now look at this, five damage. And see, like that's why I have Bebot out. I like to imagine that turret bot doesn't even have a gun. He just he just says but up but up but up really loud. <laughs> it's like uh, in Dead Space when you get the finger gun. Pew 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 pew. Yeah. Bang pew. <laughs> Regains three HP. Shuffle the villain trash in the villain deck. Play the top card of the villain deck. That's annoying. He's that's gonna... real annoying right there. That is the most annoying. That's probably gonna clear out Raptor Bot. No. Yep, that's gonna kill Raptor Bot. I am sad. You monster. Okay, well this guy has to die this turn. He has to. I refuse to allow him to live. Haka, you're going on a rampage. Uh, no, I'm gonna Haka the battle. I'm gonna guarantee I win. All of these. I suppose that does actually do more damage. Well, this will just straight up kill him. Yep. Do you know Break if it, this rocket launcher first. Does it? Do, that's not going to take my damage away, is it? I can never remember. It. Oh wait, shit! It is. Is it? Yep. Oh well. Now this means Unity can kill him with turret bot. Yep. <laughs> turret bot's revenge. Patty! That's what this is. Yep, Turretbot does do the final kill. Which is cool, because you don't get to see Turretbot in action much. Killed his butter butter butter, so he butter 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 buddy. His butter butter buddy. All right, so this was fun. Um, this definitely went a lot better than the previous one. <laughs> yeah, I think we're. I, I think he might have to wait till we're willing to do advanced mode stuff before we see him again, because he got chomped hard. I don't know if advanced mode's much stronger. Let me take a look. Oh boy, he got wrecked. Reduced damage felt. No, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, and then while he's in his stalker mode, he's immune to damage and his damage is reductible. That's, I mean, that's not like, say, Baron Blade, where it's, you know, the top H minus two cards. Yeah, Bar Baron Blade Advanced is pretty ridiculous if you bring a big team. It's scary. Like, it's real scary. But then afterwards, it's kind of calm. So, anyway, this has been fun. Uh, sorry for the shorter episode, I think. I don't, know, I don't have a timer on me. But we will see y'all next time. Pull yous out.